Well, if you got a dollar, just lays it down. You know that I got rhythm that could suit your budget fine. Can... Hey, this is Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile. Welcome to my channel. If you've been paying attention to my channel, you will notice that this is the second drop sale video I have done for this week. That is not going to be the case going forward. I do not intend to start doing drop sales all over the place. The one I did uh, kind of off my normal schedule was simply because of the timing. I had Christmas items that I realized I had not offered yet. And if I waited to do them now, it'd be a little too close to Christmas to actually be able to ship them out. So the last drop sale was an all Christmas video. This one is a traditional drop sale. I do want to get back in the habit of doing videos on Thursday nights. I kind of established that a couple of years ago. Not saying they're always going to be drop sales, but I am going to do a quick one. I'm going to do a trusty 10. I don't know why, just thought it was fun to have come up with some sort of a name. It's only going to be 10 items, keep them relatively simple, easy for me to record. And sometimes I'll do a drop sale, sometimes I'll pre-record something else. I just want to start putting videos back out there on a regular basis uh, as I'm balancing the rest of uh, my personal life. So I'm doing a trusty 10 for this evening. And the first item I'm going to be starting out with is uh, an item that I've talked about in the past. I've actually offered these previously. I just finished shipping them for this year. So now I'm offering this program again for next year. If you are familiar with YouTube, obviously you're watching this video, uh, Instagram, uh, some people in the vintage community have established memberships, special categories, Patreon accounts, buy me a coffee, ways of supporting a channel beyond uh, buying things through vintage sales. I've not done any of that, not because there is anything wrong with any of those programs. It is simply that with those programs, you typically need to do something extra to give to those people who are giving you extra money. Totally deserved. I barely have time to get out content for everybody, so I'm not going to have a separate level of content. However, what I created was a Postcard of the Month Club. So the idea between, behind the Postcard of the Month Club is very originally named. You get a postcard every month. It will be a antique uh, postcard. These are examples of some of the postcards uh, that I currently have in my collection. They are postmarked. They will all be uh, antique, at least or at least vintage, all uh, pre World War II. They will all be canceled, so they will all have been used. So they'll have a postmark. This one is 1910. This one is 1910. This one looks like I've bought a batch. This is also 1910. Uh, 1913. So just an example. So this is a, I, and uh, the idea is you're going to be getting special content by supporting my channel, but it's something that I can easily do and anyone can participate in this. So basically what you end up doing is you get a postcard of the month club. If you want to get one every month and support me throughout the year, it's a one-time payment of $50. Uh, you do that by giving me number 95. That gets you one postcard every month. So it kind of it breaks down to less than $5 per postcard that includes the postage to get it to you. So it's maybe a little bit of an upcharge from an individual uh, postcard sale, but it's kind of like a mystery box. You don't know what you're going to get and you're supporting me in producing these videos and everything else that I do. If you don't want to do a full year program, you can do a half year program. You get one every other month. You do that. That's $25. You get that by giving me number one. So if you're interested in just having a postcard of the month club, or if you would like to support me in some way, I appreciate it. Uh, you will be getting the postcards. They're fun for me to do because I have to source the postcards that I can send out. And the people that received them over the past uh, couple of years seem to enjoy them. So uh, that is the first item that I'm offering. Next item, I did a video last week, or maybe the week before, I had a collection of butter pats. Learned a little bit about the format. I'm going to have to try and change things up a little bit because I got some great constructive feedback. So I'm simplifying things a little bit. I have just a pair of butter pats. Um, just, these are just kind of cool. I almost had them in the Christmas sale because I'm kind of like, ah, they're kind of like, remind me of something you could do for New Year's Eve. They are clocks. They're from Shetland, China, made in Italy, stamped right there on the back. It is a black and white image with the gold white porcelain on the back. Uh, it is marked, both of them have a little clock logo in the box. They're from the Orology uh, line. Uh, these are two, I think there's a total of six that are available. So these are two of them. Use these as pin dishes. You can put a little votive candle. You could do whatever you put your keys in them or use them to celebrate New Year's. I don't know how, but you know, kind of something fun. 
It is just the pair of uh, the these two uh, salt um, coasters, salt dips, whatever you want to call it, butter pats. Get these two for ten dollars by giving me number thirty-five. Ten dollars, number thirty-five for the pair of Orology butter pats. I did a video uh, showing some ephemera that I picked up at the Kane County Flea Market. This was one of the pieces that I showed. It was a very popular piece that people commented on because it is beautiful. I have uh, a broad collection of German language pro uh, ephemera and items. We like all things German and Austrian in this household. And this happened to be one of them, but this has absolutely gorgeous illustrations, full color illustrations. It's some type of children's book. I say we like things German in here. I don't speak German, so I can't really translate it. But it appears to be a vocabulary book because like the little fox picture, it says das ist ein and then a blank. So it's like you're trying to, you have to fill in either the vocabulary or grammar or something for these individual animals. I'd hate to see this cut apart because it is an absolutely pristine condition, but some of these individual images would look great for junk journaling. They'd look great cut out being framed. There's poems, there's all kinds of fun stuff in here. Even if you don't speak the language, it looks pretty cool. There's a little bit of discoloration on the back cover, but the cover itself is beautiful. The spine is very much, is still fully intact. It's, it's absolutely pristine. Uh, based on the Pickelhaub helmet that's showing in the back, it's likely somewhere around World War I, uh, so probably turn of the last century. Um, so that is the piece I've got available. This is $12, and that you can have by giving me number 87. $12.87 for the German children's book. Uh, next piece I kind of pulled, I had a video a few weeks ago, I actually did have a live video and hope to go back to those again. And what I did was I did a clearance of my Etsy shop. I'm closing down my Etsy shop, so I was pulling all that inventory that I haven't relisted and selling it at a discount. These are some of the items that I have included in that and I merged them together to make a little kind of a, an instant collection. If you are interested in starting a Wade collection that's something beyond Wade Whimsies, here you go. We've got a nice size coffee mug that has, um, I don't know my British uh, royalty, but I think it's something like the, the Royal Guard or something like that. Uh, so we've got a, a British um, Guard. We have a Wade Royal Victoria uh, large creamer. Look great with a little uh, sprig of flowers going in there. You got an air plant in there, or it's wide enough you can actually put things in here like change to be able to pull it out. Most creamers have a little tiny top. This one has a nice big mouth, so you could actually put things in here. Beautiful decoration. It's a really dark kind of a wine burgundy color on the top with the cream bottom. Really pretty gold with the floral spray on both sides. So it would look great sitting on a table or in a vignette. And then we also have, for those who like decanters, we actually have a Wade Bell's Scotch Whiskey from Perth, Scotland. We have a Wade Bell decanter, or yeah, so it's in the shape of a bell. It has the cork is still there. It's in place. It is empty. I'm not selling alcohol, uh, but it still has the labels on there that is from Bell's, uh, Bell's Old Scotch Whiskey Distillers in Perth, Scotland, and then a little label on the back explaining it. So each one of these pieces was selling between $5 and $10. I think the bell was actually even higher than that between my booth and uh, when I had a booth and then my Etsy shop. And I'm now making all of them available. You get all three for 10 bucks. So $10 for the combo clearance price of the three instant Wade collection, $10 by giving me number seven. So that is the Wade collection. And then I have some ephemera. I had these, uh, some of these in the past, and this is one of these signs where I tend to get disorganized when I get overwhelmed. I literally find things, and these are things I found. So I had sold probably a dozen, two dozen of these because I bought them in a big lot. These are the ones that are left out, left, uh, left from the batch. They are rewards of merit. So these are turn of the century, early 20th, cent uh, early 20th century, little certificates that a teacher would give a student that basically would give them a reward of merit of some sort. 
So this one says right on there, reward of merit, who it was presented to, and then the teacher signed their name. So they're just little decorative cards. Some were given to boys, some were given to girls, uh, just to kind of perfect attendance for helping clean up the room. You know, maybe they had that participation culture. Everyone got a trophy back then too. You got these little cards and obviously people collected them or saved them because they do still exist today. Uh, these have some beautiful imagery on it. So this one has like a little cottage, like a little fairy book cottage. This one's much smaller. It's a single uh, color print. Uh, this one seems to be a little bit older than the others. But again, it's got the reward of merit with uh, the boy getting bee, uh, getting honey out of the bee skeps uh, on, the, on the table. This one has a little poem with some hand colored florals that were done around the edges. And this one is in the very upper corner. It says reward of merit, but there's no place to actually put a name on this one. So I don't know if you just like threw this at somebody, handed it out, stuck it under the book. Uh, I'm not sure how these were done because usually they have a place to put a name and then who gave it. This one does not have anything on the front and the back is blank. So this one is slightly different, but some great uh, great colors in the lithography on these considering how old they are. These would be a great little gift for a teacher, you know, end of year gift, you know, somebody who really appreciates uh, vintage. These would look fantastic framed because they're all one-sided, there's nothing on the back. So you get one of those little postcard sized frames against like a, just a velvet backdrop. You don't even have to mat it. It would look fantastic against there. And it's just a great capture of something that we don't do anymore. I'm putting all four of them together. I was usually selling them individually for about $5 a piece, depending on the artwork, sometimes a little bit more. I'm putting all four of those together for 10 bucks by giving me number 89. $10, number 89 for the entire set of the Rewards of Merit. And we're halfway through Trustee's 10. The next item in the Trusty 10 is a set. These are three individual pedestals of black amethyst glass. There's the small size, medium size, and a larger size. You can kind of see height-wise, one's a little bit taller than the other, and then also diameter-wise. So the smallest one, the diameter, there's like a little lip here that indents but I'm just gonna give you the diameter across the actual top because it's easier to measure. The smallest one is three. We've got three and three eighths and a little over three and a half. So they kind of, they don't really stack on top of each other because they're footed, but for purposes of size and kind of put them aside, you can see they're, they're a little bit graduated. I uh, wouldn't swear that they're a set, um, but they do all seem to have the same profile. So I do think they were all made by the same company. I cannot find a mark on any of them uh, for you know who did actually make them. The tops are in absolutely pristine condition. If you feel where the feet are, there's a couple of places where you can feel a little bit uh, rough spots. Um, there are no cracks and there are no major chips anywhere on here. Uh, but you can kind of feel some flea bites uh, on the bottom of some of them. Uh, this one's the tallest of them. And again, there's a couple places just along the feet where you can just feel it. But when you're looking at it, there's no obvious uh, damage uh, to them. So it's just on the bottom. Once they're seated, they will absolutely serve their purpose of holding great to hold vases to hold just about anything because they've got a really nice diameter um, to hold a small uh, piece, either porcelain or glass. It just would raise it up a little bit and make it look absolutely gorgeous. These probably should end up going up on my eBay uh, store and I'm trying to get better about putting stuff up there, but that's why I'm doing a combination of these videos as well. Some cases it's a little bit faster just to get them, uh, make them available here. When I put them on here, I don't have to pay the fees on eBay, so you get a slightly better price. So you get this stack of three, all three of them, you get them for $30 by giving me number 62. $30 number 62 gets you the set of the black glass, um, pedestal uh, risers. Uh, these I've had on occasion. Um, uh, automobile uh, ephemera is really popular. Uh, what I really like to carry are the, the actual sales brochures. I don't come across those nearly as often, but 
there a lot of the companies did these little magazines. And so just recently I had the, for the Just One More Docs and Rescue, I had a Cadillac um, one that had dogs on the cover. So I included that in the dog rescue. This one is for the Ford Times. So this is going into October, 1970. Uh, to be honest, I picked it up, specifically picked this one up because that is the year and month I was born. So I thought that was kind of fun, but I have no interest in building a collection of Ford memorabilia. So this is a special 31 page section of the 1971 Fords. So if you have people who like uh, sales brochures or the, are into their muscle cars or cars of the 70s, this has a great full color spread with uh, 31 pages of all of the new 1971 Fords that were being announced in October of 1970. A fun little piece. This one fits into a little envelope all by itself. So I will make this available with postage included for $6 by giving me number 26. $6.26 gets you the Ford Times uh, magazine from October 1970. Uh, as, again, as I mentioned in the first half of the Trusty 10, I had a couple special butter pats that I was making available. I have hundreds, so you'll be they'll be making appearances as I figure out the best way to sell them. This one I am doing a is a little bit special because it's a large set. So what you have here is something that you don't normally see. It is a set of matching butter pats. They aren't marked, so there's no manufacturer attached to these, but they're all the same size, they're all the same shape, and they all have the same double gold uh, uh, gilt rim it is a set of 12 butter pats so you want to have the big fancy dinner party you want to uh, have matching butter pats uh, setting out on your dinner table you've got a set of 12. now these can be used for many other things uh, they're a little small for coasters but if your bottom of your glass is narrow this would fit as a coaster they are designed and sold to be butter pats so obviously you can use them for butter you can just use them the, this is a match set uh, you could put these underneath a set of 12 candles. You know, there's all kinds of ways that you can use these beyond what they were originally sold for. Uh, but it's just rare. I picked up this uh, massive collection from an estate sale. And what this individual seemed to be doing was collecting just one of everything. And as I was picking through the box, I discovered, well, there's a set of 12. So whether this was part from their dining service and they just mixed them in the collection, I don't know. But, uh, you know, butter pats, not everyone is doing the formal dining anymore, so you do have other purposes for it. But for those of you that still are looking for that, the, the big spread, it's such a simple design. It would go with almost any dinner pattern that you have if you've got the formal dinner. It's basically selling them for roughly $2 a piece, 25 bucks, $25 for the full set of 12 very simple, elegant butter pats, $25 for the set of 12 by giving me number 94. So that is for the set of 12 butter pads. I did an Instagram sale. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I do some things over on there. And this was an item that I really kind of fell in love with and was disappointed it didn't sell on the Instagram sale. So I'm selling it here. It is a great sales bro uh, travel brochure, roughly from 1900. Uh, from what I can tell, these were originally printed in the 1880s when the South Cheyenne Canyon, when the falls opened as a tourist attraction. The original ones or the earliest ones don't have the original text up here at the top and at the bottom. So this one is a, a reprint, but the images are still the same. And there's these, there are these just fantastic turn of the century. Uh, they're referred to as with pen and camera. No, what is that? Yeah, with pen and camera. So some of these, you know, illustrations, some of these uh, camera photographs that were touched up with pen, there's just some beautiful imagery in here that again, I'm not always a proponent for cutting things apart, but unless you have a you know an interest in South Cheyenne Canyon in Colorado Springs, these images, if you cut these out, they would frame absolutely beautifully. So this is another one. It will fit into one of my uh, standard size envelopes. As I do, I have like f the photo envelopes that are rigid. So I will include postage for this. So it's ten dollars, including postage for the turn of the century South Cheyenne Canyon uh, travel brochure. Ten bucks by giving me number ninety. And then the last item that I have one two three four five. Yeah. So the last item is another piece of ephemera. 
these are the types of things I love when I pick these up. They never sell for a lot of money, but I don't care. Um, I am the trusty huckster, and so I love finding these huckster items. This is the definition of huckster in the sense of the snake oil salesman. Dr. Miles Tonic promotes vim, vigor, and good looks. So this is a multi-page like brochure, a little mailer, you can see or it would have been handed out or mailed. You can see the place for the information at the bottom. And it is a collection of, here are all of Dr. Miles' medical preparations. There's advertisements, there's testimonials, and the entire pamphlet is put together under the guise of educating you about international transportation. So you have some fantastic imagery throughout this covering the story of transportation. The only color, unfortunately, is just on the cover, but the artwork is fantastic. You know, look at the, um, you got the biplane up here in the corner. You've got the train in the opposite corner. You've got the little cart. And then as you go through, you get a little international. So you've got Haiti and Santo Domingo talking about transportation in that country. Uh, and then opposite of that, um, they suffered for their country. World War hero and wife find relief by using Dr. Miles' anti-pain pills. So you can read an entire article about how great the Dr. Miles products are. So you can read about uh, India. And then right opposite that, you have another ad for Dr. Miles' tonic. So it is just like a little magazine, educational, whatever the case, however they promoted it. And then throughout it, you get the little subliminal huckster messages of all the, the the medical benefits and the testimonials of using Dr. Miles products. Super fun, probably 20s or 30s. There is a reference to the war ending in 1918. So it's definitely after 1918, but based on the the way it was printed uh, and the, the colors and illustrations, probably 20s or 30s. Fantastic little item. Again, inexpensive, I will, or a lightweight and inexpensive to ship. So this includes shipping as well. And this is $8 by giving me number 77 to get the Dr. Miles Huckster sales brochure, $8.77. And that is it. Uh, those were the 10 items I wanted to offer. I will again, hopefully be doing additional videos. I have a lineup of videos I want to record. Uh, we will see how quickly I get those out and whether the, when those populate. Uh, so I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and pop up for notifications because I will be showcasing some new collections that I've been building. I will be doing some research in some of the items that I've picked up, uh, doing some online research and some photographic research to figure out where uh, identifying how old or where something came from. Just want to do some of those types of videos. These sales are fun to do to a certain extent. And again, really appreciate the money, uh, the support. Sometimes doing it this way is more fun and more and simpler than doing it on my eBay or even this having them in my brick and mortar store. Just want to mix it up. I don't want to become known as just showing up on camera to sell you something. I'm a huckster, but I'm the trusty huckster, so don't forget it. So appreciate your time. If you wanted to claim anything, uh, should have put that at the beginning, but uh, by now, hopefully you're used to it. Just uh, uh, claim it in the comments, send me an email afterwards. I will try and keep track in the comments of who's claiming what. First in the comments to claim it is the person that will claim that item. The prices do not include shipping, so just make sure I know who you are and where I'm shipping. I'll send you an invoice, you pay the invoice, and I will send you the item. So again, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for putting your trust in Trusty Huckster, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Well, show me a sign if you're wishing me to stay. Otherwise, I say goodbye and finish out the day. And that sunrise in the morning and you got nothing to say. Oh, that's when I'll be headed on my way.